ないこの俺が人間なんだよあー Alright, so in this one, we're going to be doing a Zenkai tier list. I haven't done one of these in about a month just because, well, Zenkais come every two weeks and you kind of have to wait to see how they play out, how they get better or worse over time. You know, like, um, I don't even fucking know. Blue Gohan, uh, like two days ago, I would value him probably like B tier, but after using him, you know, yesterday, I would value him a lot higher, right? So testing out these units and everything like that, just to preferentiate or Say this right now, whatever. I'm going to rate LF Zenkais at nine stars and every other Zenkai that's not LF at 14. That's just the simplest way I can do it. LF Zenkais at nine stars means transforming units get more of a buff and an increase. Thinking about uh, Mr. Piccolo here, LF Piccolo. But yeah, that's how I'm gonna rate them. Just simplest way to do it. And just to mention before we get into this, I do have a Discord, and I am planning a thing. Uh, I'm not going to say all the plan of it, but there is a plan to one day this week, or every week, rather, um, stream PvP versus people in my Discord and, like, you know, stream it on Discord server. People can play against me for, like, you know, however long, and then we'll do that, like, once a week. And then another stream where it's just, like, about me, if you want to learn about me, and I'll do that, like, once a week, right? So if you want to join a server, it's in the description, probably one of the first few links. Click that, join that. And yeah, if you want to play against me, you'll be able to. It'll just be first come, first serve. Again, that'll probably start, if I had a guess, next week. Well, this week coming, but this weekend, right? So yeah. But to get into this, let's start. Okay, so we're just going to go from, I mean, where this shows me, because we have a lot of units. There's, what, 51 Zenkais? Not including EXs, because EXs just don't hold a candle. Um, If I were going to touch on that real quick, uh, I would say EX Frieza and EX Ginyu are the best two. Then besides EX Frieza and EX Ginyu, nothing else is really close. Uh, future Gohan maybe, but even then, you don't really need to agree on hybrids, right? So, let's start this shenanigan. I don't know if I'll need all these tiers, but we'll just have them here in case. Uh, okay, so Bardock. Bardock, I'm gonna rate S tier, but he's gonna be the bottom S tier. Just gonna be blunt, he's gonna be the bottom S tier. I think he's a good unit, individually, and obviously this factors in teams, individual unit, and both combined, right? You can't just think of, okay, this guy's great individually, because I'm thinking, like, maybe this guy's great individually, but his team's pretty shit. Let's say for Evolution Blue Vegeta, just is a good example, um, I could rate him number three in the game, Evolution Blue Vegeta, as an individual unit, but as a unit in the game where your team matters, he's not even, like, top 10 to me, because just his team is so mediocre. It's not ass, it's mediocre, gotta keep. But Bardock, he's in that same boat. Uh, he's a very good Zenkai. Super Saiyans, I just don't like the premise. Um, tying him to that team, which, I mean, he had it on release, right? It's not like it's ever changed. It's just tedious for him. Uh, for sure, you can run him on other teams, but he's just not gonna do what he wants to do. Obviously, he wants to make your Super Saiyan stronger and stronger and stronger. I think he's a great unit, but I don't think his team will ever be great to me just because it has no durability. Like, you can even build a durable sub with, like, uh, Green Broly and, like, Revival Gohan. Then you have, like, very tanky unit and Revival unit, or you have, like, Future Gohan and, uh, or Puddle Han, rather, and Revival Gohan. You have, boom, Endurance and Revival, and that's, like, tanky, quote-unquote, has control of some match play, but nothing crazy. Even then, I just don't see the value of Super Saiyans being very high. I just think the team in itself is just very glass and a silly premise, uh, genuinely. While I do think it's okay, I do think it's a silly premise to rate, like, as a high-tier team. It's pretty average, like, a little above or below God Key at this point. And honestly, I could say below just because Merge Zamasu is, like, a Chad. And Merge Zamasu did be high up on this list. But Bardock right there, again... You'll see at the end of this, if you want to just skip to the end, like, where they're actually, actually at, but that's just my take right now for him. Frieza, I also do think he is, if not high A tier, he's going to be S tier. I could adjust this at the end, which I probably will. I'll say high A tier for now. Um, you know, LOE is dead in the water. It's just how it is. I don't think it's necessarily a terrible team, but it is very top-heavy, kind of like Vegeta Family. Both top-heavy teams, which doesn't benefit them. Um in a lot of regards it more hurts them obviously because you don't have a revival you don't really have i mean you have an endurance unit the old full power frieza but uh they're both being yellow and him being very old it doesn't really help anything right this guy is good he does more to saiyans which is probably why i'm rating him higher a tier 
And that's about it. Uh, I don't think he's ever bad. I think he actually is impressive for what he is. And for coming out with Red Cooler, like, two weeks before or two weeks after, whichever one came out first, he's a lot better than Red Cooler, at least, which people always compared them to, like, they came out near together, so they're, like, the same echelon of power, which I think this guy is a lot better than Red Cooler. So that's at least a plus, right? Super 17. Um... So if they're not core on their team, kind of like this Yellow Frieza, like I would say this Yellow Frieza is worse than LF Full Power Frieza, obviously. They're going to be lower, right? So Super 17 isn't core on GT, and that's his team, right? Like Androids is a team, but it's really not that great. Like GT shit stomps on Androids right now, which is funny to say because, you know, try to hear this statement months ago that GT is shit stomping teams. It's honestly a joke. But now we look at it. Super 17 is not core. Um, while I do think he is A tier, I would say he's in the realm of it. Like, he's not terrible. It's just that, again, he's not core, which devalues him a little bit. Androids being so bad, um, it hurts him quite a bit, actually, because you can't even run him because your main Android setups, Terminator Power 17 and Cell, which are both strike based units. If I'm running this guy who's blast based, sure, he's supplying my green cards, but like, do I really need that from him? Like, is there not another unit that has that much value? Like, I can run other units besides him on Androids, even with Androids lacking. I think he's good for what he is. He's a wall. He's kind of like Green Broly. But thing is, Green Broly actually has a team he can be run on. Maybe not his primary unit, but it's still a uh, good option. I just think he's replaced, and that's it. Like, there's not much terrible about him. He's a good staller, but replaced. It's unfortunate, but Gogeta 4 needed the fucking shine, so... Take that, right? Scouter Vegeta. This guy. <laughs> this guy and I have a history because I Zenkai 7 him. On release, uh, just, uh, yeah, was not a favorable thing, especially because he popped up as one of the free, well, free 20cc daily Zenkais every single day forever. But Scouter Vegeta. Um, I don't think he's the worst unit in the game. I think he's in the category of like the top 10 worst Zenkais, but he's not the worst. He does take a long time to ramp up and he's pretty ass. There's not really redeeming qualities about him. He's replaced on every single team uh, 10 times over and that's it. Pretty ass, but he's not the worst. So I guess, I guess if you want to Zenkai him, <laughs> go, he, he's a Saiyan Zenkai buffer, I guess, if you want to do that, like, I guess go for it, but I, I wouldn't recommend personally. Yellow DKP. So yellow DKP. Okay. With regen being so good, strike regen being, if not number two, number three in the game, behind Saiyans, because I do think hybrids and strike regen is like neck and neck, if not one's higher than the other, depending your uh, debate and stars and all that. I think this DKP is S+, plus just because how good strike regen is. I've been running it. I just got my Corruptus Masu six stars, you know, thank you Legends Weekend, like that's not even meant to be like ironic, like thank you Legends Weekend. It's been a month, we got 12 of those coins. 12 of them equals 100 Z power a month. Boom, boom, boom. Love to see it. Got them six stars. I've been running it with uh, Cell, Fat Boo, uh, my seven star Cell, uh, Kid Boo, and this DKP. It's pretty fucking easy. You have a lot of ball manipulation with Cell, with DKP. You have Corruption's Monster who can carry the load. You have DKP into Fat Boo, which obviously is a dynamic duo that is very toxic and very good at the same time, which really hasn't aged since its release. Like, since DKP Zenkai, that duo of Fat Boom DKP has been like one of the most tedious setups in the game, right? Uh, DKP, while he is kind of one dimensional, the one dimension he does is pretty good for his team. Again, you have a lot of fucking ball stealing and um, removing with Cell, with DKP, and then rushing from DKP to Fat Boo, you're most likely going to kill because you're picking your target at that point with the lock in and all these things you can do around it. He is one dimensional, but that one dimension is very good. And I do think it warrants him being S plus, maybe not the highest in S plus, but he will be up here for sure. Green Broly. So I did say he's in the same boat as Super 17, right? Because they're both replaced, right? Uh, but Green Broly's on movies and movies is a better team than GT. Uh, movies is probably number four or five. I'd say GT is like barely top seven. I haven't seen Omega 14 stars yet. Obviously I'm waiting for that. But Green Broly is double replaced, even though I don't like the Green Movie Trunks. Um, I do have to accept he is better than Green Broly. Uh, Green Cooler is also better than Green Broly, so he's double replaced. With that, you don't really need a tank on movies because you have Bojack. You have a Revival from Revival Gohan. You have Bird Crew at this point, who I actually am valuing now. I would say Green Broly is worse than Super 17, but uh, not far off. It's just that he's a staller. 
and he really only has one kind of set you want to do with the green into blue card, which it's good for stalling. Like, he has a good mechanic to stall out, but anything besides that, it's pretty mediocre and underwhelming. Uh, I, I can see a debate where you switch the two, but I don't think it really matters that much to anybody, right? Red name it Goku. Um, is he better than Vegeta? I think Vegeta can do better than Red Name at Goku, so I'm going to put Red Name at Goku down here. He does get damage inflicted, uh, given, you know, he mostly wants to be against LOE. He does get some damage inflicted. Uh, Vegeta can build up higher, gets Cardro Speed and all this. So I do think uh, Red Name at Goku is a little bit lower, even with Super Saiyan buffs uh, being applicable to him. Just don't think he's higher. Uh, the first Zenkai in the entire game, you know, I'm happy he's not going to be number one in the game, right? Like, that's a good thing. Turles! I've used Turles twice since his second guy. <laughs> um, he's replaced by... He's replaced by Janemba. Janemba's better than him, I think. Revival Gohan. Pro Broly. I don't think Pro Broly's better. I think they're equal. I think... Yeah, I think they're equal. So I would say Turles being triple replaced. Uh, powerful opponent is a team. But again, he is uh, replaced by like Rosé, Cell. So double replaced... <laughs> He does more to Sun Family and Saiyans, right? I think there's more to Hybrids as well, I think. I'm not sure, but Sun Family and Saiyans, if not fucking Goku's at least. I think that warrants A tier. I think it warrants above Green Broly, because both units are double replaced um, on movies and on Powerful Opponent, funny enough. I just think his damage to the main team in the game that is going to be number one, which is Saiyans, is more valuable than Green Broly. That, that's just my take on it. Blue Gohan. Um, so I value him more now, definitely, after running him on movies. Um, I just will never get over the fact that if he doesn't cover in, he's going to get fucking whitewashed. Like, he needs to cover. He needs to. Like, I hate that. He, he has no unconditional cover, right? None. So many new units have unconditional cover, it's not even funny. But he doesn't. But, without that, he does heal a lot for his team. He does good strike damage, his blast damage is fucking dog shit. His blue card's whatever, you don't really give a shit about it. Green card changes blast of strikes, which can be good. Um, I would put him... He's the third... He's a third option on movies. Ah! Okay, since movies is better than GT, I'll put him right here. Actually, I'll put him above Frieza. Above Frieza, yeah. Uh, he doesn't do more to Saiyans, obviously, but... GT is a better team than Movies and LOE. Uh, 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 well, I said that wrong. Movies is a better team than GT and LOE. So with that, I think this Gohan has more value. Given he is double replaced, LF Broly and Goku have both replaced him. I just think the team is better. Uh, he can do what he wants to do correctly, yes. But does that necessarily mean he's the best? No, he's just good. He, he's good. He's definitely got more respect for me. Because I would have put him probably B tier before doing this, right? Speaking of B tier... Kaba! I could obviously put him C tier and be kind of happy, but I'll put him B tier to be respectful. Kaba is dog shit. Um, that's it. There, there's nothing else. Kaba's dog shit. Red Gogeta, the most overrated Zenkai in the game. Uh, I've heard a lot of gas of this guy even to this day, which is okay. <laughs> Interesting. I think he is A tier, for sure. Uh, I don't think he's S tier. I don't think he fits that uh, peak. Yeah, I guess you could call it. But, if I were to put him somewhere in A tier, it would be right here. I mean, I don't like Super Saiyans again. That's his main team. You're going to run him with Bardock. Obviously, that duo is there. Um, He does good on Super Saiyans, but that's it. Like, again, it's a glass team. I don't like the premise of a glass team. While he does good damage, it's a glass team. I don't like it, but it's a thing that exists. You have to expect, you have to respect it. Not expect it, because no one's going to run that shit. But you have to respect it. It can do good damage when it gets going correctly, right? I think that's perfectly fine for him. I can honestly put him lower and be happy with it, but I don't want to upset all the uh, Gogeta simps here because I, for one, do not uh, care for Gogeta as much as maybe other people do. I don't really care for fusions, but that's just me. The first LF we're going to rate here. Obviously, 9 stars again. LFs are 9 stars. Everything else at 14 stars. Just easier for me. Goten. Now, Goten is replaced by Revival Gohan. Yes, I agree with that. So... He's not Z-tier. Um, Z-tier is going to be hard to get to because I am being very, like, strict on these ratings, I feel like. With that, he's S-plus, and with hybrids being debatably better, who is the better unit, DKP or Goten? I think Goten's a better unit because he can make FSK 
make any Gohan look 10 times better on top of his Zenkai buff is just better. Like, you're Zenkai buffing Revival Gohan, who is arguably a top 5 view in the game, while DKP here is Zenkai buffing LF Piccolo, who is top 15, maybe. Like, Goten's better for what he's doing, for what he can do. Yes, he is replaced. Yes, I understand that. But even being replaced, it does not make you a bad unit. I can spew this all day long. If you're replaced, you're not bad. Super 17, do you think he's bad because Gogeta 4 is better? No. Maybe fucking Scouter Vegeta is because he's four times replaced by other Zenkites. Sure. But Super 17, Blue Gohan. I use Blue Gohan. You guys saw it. They're not bad units. It's just that being replaced has this stigma of your shit because this guy's better. It's not true. Goten's very good. One of the better uh, LF Zenkais, honestly, I would say, well, eh, that's debatable. But in my opinion, I think he's a better LF Zenkai to at least this list in particular, right? Again, we will see through everything, but let's continue. Red GT Goku. I actually like him. Uh, on Strike Base GT, which isn't really a thing because you have actually, oh, Ultra Omega exists, huh? So he's double replaced. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Ultra Omega, huh? Okay, well... Well, I was going to go down because I forgot he exists. Um, he's good. Don't get me wrong. He's good. But he's not good enough. Uh, he's going to be high B tier. I think he can do good damage. He can heal himself while doing cards. He can do all these nice things. You're double replaced and your team is worse than movies. Uh, you're going down, right? Because I do think, again, movies is better than GT. Barely. So with that. You have two movies unit there who are both replaced as well. It's the same scenario. They're both replaced, all three of these units. It, it's just how it is, right? Red Trunks. Uh, he's definitely going to be B tier here. He might even be C tier, actually. He does more to LOE, uh, I think, on like some unique of his. Uh, he has card draw speed, I think, for a long time. Not infinitely. Zenkai buffer for FSK, so that is important. That does matter. Zenkai buffing does matter. Like It's not a debate. It does play a role here. Um, I would say Red Trunks is, he's better than Kaba. Uh, yeah, he's better than Kaba. Kaba might go, I, I, I'm going to put Kaba C tier. Red Trunks, well, he's old. One of the fucking first 10 Zenkais, I'm pretty sure. He still is okay. Uh, nothing crazy. He's okay. And he's Zenkai buffing top 10 unit in the game, debatably. In my opinion, I don't think uh, FSK is top 10 in the game, but debatably top 10 unit in the game, right? So it does play a factor into how good he is on top of hybrids being as good as they are. Even though he's replaced a lot, he's still runnable, I guess you'd call him. God Vegeta, oh boy. So this is from the most overrated Zenkai to the most underrated to now the most overrated right now, right? Because people suck this guy off, called Gogeta Blue dog shit compared to him, and now uh, people say the same thing even though Evolution Blue, Gogeta Blue exists. I, I don't know where the fuck this comes from, but it's just what I hear, right? God Vegeta. So you're thinking of God Key here. Obviously, not thinking movies. And movies is worse than... Or movies is better than God Key, rather. Obviously. So if I'm thinking logically, I think God Vegeta, just with that and his kit... Reliant on Vados. I don't like that. Um, he's probably right here. Yeah. Uh, valuing God Vegeta... <sighs> God Vegeta is probably better than Super Gogeta, right? Yeah. I think so. Maybe I'm valuing Frieza too high. I don't think I'm valuing Frieza too high. Maybe. I don't know. God Vegeta is... <laughs> What's better? God Key or Super Saiyans? Did I not say God Key is better? Or Super Sa I said it's debatable, actually. Fuck! <laughs> you can debate it. I'll put God Vegeta there. Um, you can move him up one. Sure. But I would put him there just because... Even with the debate of God Key versus Super Saiyans... Um, you still need Vados, right? And him being reliant on a unit, given, yes, Gogeta's reliance on Bardock, um, it's not the same amount of reliance. Uh, like, God Vegeta needs, needs that. Uh, you know, Red Gogeta can, like, look good without Bardock, like, as a last man stand, right? That's where I think the discrepancy goes where God Vegeta's worse than Gogeta. Android 21, you're gonna go low. Uh, actually, one of the more aging Zenkais nowadays, like, Android 21 on release was crack goaded beyond belief, but... Right now has become one of the more aging Zenkais. I would say a B tier, like lower B tier. Um, not core on your Android team, and that's where you're going to run her, right? Like, there's nothing about it. Just 
stats haven't really aged bad, but everything else about her has just aged. Like, she has a nice death buff, I guess, but she just aged, and she's not core, so... She's going down because androids are so low on top of not being core. What are you going to do, right? Oh boy, Legends Road Trunks. I don't like this guy. Um, Legends Road Trunks. I don't like him, but I do think he's better than uh, some D tier units here. I would say... Is he though? I think he's better than Goku, but I think he's worse than Vegeta. I mean, maybe I'm just Vegeta simping for sure, but... I think he just takes too long. He needs too much to get going, and I just don't like him because of that. Red Cell. Oh boy, this guy, huh? Um, does more to Super Saiyans. Doesn't really matter because who the fuck is running Super Saiyans is often a Saiyans. Nobody. Um, hmm. Debating. Blast Regen. You're not running him. You're not. You don't. Like, you have Revival Cell if you really want to run a red. Like, even though this guy exists and Revival Cell is pretty ass, um, you have Revival Cell to replace him. And that's his only real team. Androids. You're not running Blast Androids. You're not. You're just not. It's just not good enough. Um, he's below Super 17. He's below GT Goku. Is he... He's that? <laughs> Put him here. I think he's worse than Android 21. Yeah. He has good stats. Uh, he has Scouter Vegeta Syndrome. He has good stats, but ass kit. Like, that's it. That's literally all Red Cell all encompasses. Um, it sucks, but... I mean, that's his kit, right? You can't really uh, debate it. Gotenks, I do think Gotenks is decent. Uh, he is on hybrids, of course. So I'm going to put him right here. He gets a new hand. He's a strike-based defense, actually. Hybrid, but he does more strike damage because his strike stats higher. And he's green. Uh, hybrids desperately need a green if they really need anything. They want a green strike base unit because Revival Gohan being strike base, Puddle Han being strike base. You want to have that ability to have a strike base unit. And yes, I know green movie trunks exist, but this guy's a free 14 stars. Um, and I mean, he has good stats. So I, don't know. I think this is fine for him. You could move him a bit lower, but I don't think it's much debate. Again, nobody really gives a shit about green Gotenks, right? Blue Trunks. Now, Blue Trunks, I think, is worse than Blue Gohan for hybrids. And that's your main team, because Blast Future is dog shit. You're not thinking about that team. You're thinking about hybrids, right? But I don't think he's that far off of Blue Gohan. Um. Hmm. Blue Trunks is... It's hard. It's hard to figure out. Right... Here. I don't think he's that far off. Um, the hybrid blues are just kind of a thing that are going to be underwhelming compared to everything else. It's literally these two. It's your sub option and your main option. There's no other hybrid blue you're going to run in this entire game. In before I'm missing somebody. You're not running Terminator Power Gohan. That's, I think, the only other blue hybrid you're running. I'm actually... Am I missing somebody? Is there a blue hybrid? No, you're running purple, red, yellow. Your sub option would be one of these two. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, I think... Because Gohan's strike base, Trunks is blast base. Hybrids are more strike base now with Puddle and Revival. Yeah, I like this one more. Yeah, I would say Gohan's better than Trunks. Which, again, I would not have said this two days ago prior to using that Gohan. So it goes to show, it matters when you use the unit and see how they age, right? Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Now I like him as the core red on, well, not anymore, but he was the core red on Saiyans because he made ultimate damage, blue card damage go up. And that's very good for Super Saiyan 3 LF Goku. But obviously with green, green, yellow existing, you're probably not gonna care about that, even though you still could because Gogeta also has an ultimate. So I guess you could theoretically. He isn't core on GT because Ultra Omega is better. So he's replaced there on Saiyans. You really don't need him, but he's a sub option. Saiyans is the best team in the game, but he's replaced. He's above Gogeta. He's above Gogeta. Not going to say more. He's above Gogeta. Purple Janemba. Oh boy. I do not like him. Um... So the reason I don't like him is Purple Janemba, if he got key back on his green card, I'd like him a lot more. Like, he'd be 10 times better unit, obviously, right? Everyone would agree with that. Like, he'd be 10 times better. 
His defense stats are lower than Murd Zamasu's defense stats, who is stats, who is a range type, while Janemba's a defense type. His defenses are dog shit. I do not like them at all. I never run into him. When I did run him, he underwhelmed the shit out of me. He is on regen. He is on movies. He's replaced on movies, uh, given. He's not B tier, for sure. I'm not going to, like, disrespect him that much, but... I do think he is around here. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't impress me. I understand he has a stalling mechanic, but okay, Green Broly has a stalling mechanic. Okay. Um, Gobjeet has a knockback mechanic. Like, it's cool to have that type of mechanic. It just doesn't matter. I just don't think it matters. I just don't think he does anything that makes me think, yes, he's better than Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Blue Trunks, Gob Vegeta, Super Gogeta. Like, he is not better than any of those units to me. I even struggle to put him above uh, Frieza. I honestly, I want to lower Frieza. I want to lower Frieza. Yes, I understand he does more to Saiyans, but so does fucking Turles. Frieza's going to get lowered. Yeah, I'm sorry, Frieza. Yeah, I think I overwhelmed, overrated you, rather, uh, early on. Frieza, hold on, before I go into Janemba's details, um, actually, you're probably just here. Uh, I do think you're better than Turles and, uh, Broly, even though, again, your team is complete ass comparably, they're replaced literally three times, like, that's a lot. Uh, Frieza's only replaced once, right? But yeah, Janemba, just underwhelming, and I think he could have been better. His defense stats are just too low for me, I just don't like it. Again, comparing to, like, Mertzimasu, who has 15k... To 20k higher stats than him it's kind of laughable hmm let's see what else we got here interesting i'm definitely uh gonna get to the lf zenkai soon okay let's keep going blue cooler my voice starting to hurt that's why i'm looking um blue cooler hmm it's worse than frieza can i put you b tier is that disrespectful your core loe you're not replaced so that has some value. But, um... I think you're B tier. I think you are B tier, Mr. Cooler. I s uh, ah. And you're below Gotenks. You might. You're below Trunks. Uh, nah, you're not below Trunks. Ah, I could put him below Trunks and be happy with that. Oh, oh, I kind of want to. S hybrids is like number three in the game number two debatably like that means something gt's better than loe okay uh, i want to put him below no he's higher his kit is higher um he is the bardock the worst version of bardock for loe he is the main unit which is probably why he's even up in this spot in general um just squishy bro just squishy as fuck you're old right you're old because you're squishy um or squishy because you're old rather they need a new unit that's cooler level or at least does what cooler does eloe needs a fucking blue eloe needs a whole fucking color wheel besides a yellow and maybe a fucking green right because even dbs frieza is aging on eloe like eloe needs a fucking uh, what the fuck like those things you like put together that you have like when you're shocking someone back to life like they need that like whatever the fuck that's called Kakarot Goku. Um. <sighs> you're worse than both reds. You're like the fourth fucking option. So, okay. You're worse than GT Goku. Um. Yeah, you're right here. I don't think that's debate. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't even think people would debate that. I think that's fine. Uh, Cooler. So, Cooler is definitely worse than Frieza. I think he's actually better than Blue Cooler. He's also on movies, given... <laughs> well, is he a secondary or third option? It doesn't matter, really, because Blue Cooler is like a fourth option. I'll put him above Blue Cooler just because he's a closer option to usage on movies, given you're not going to use either on movies, but if you had to... He is also on regen! Yeah, he's above Blue Cooler. Um, he's not good, but... He's not worse than fucking Cooler, who's about a year older than him, Zenkai wise, right? Uh, okay. Um, Beerus. 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 <sighs> it's a little bit difficult for Beerus here. 
kind of want to skip Beerus, but I won't. Um, Where the hell do you go? That's a really good... I don't know where the fuck you go, Beerus. Um... God Key's pretty ass. He's worse than God Vegeta, for sure. I, I think he's about... Here? I, I don't really know. I think Beerus is okay. I don't think he's terrible. I don't think he's... Nah, he's not above them. And God Key's so much worse than that. No. No. Um... Bottom of A? But Gotenks on hybrids. Gotenks... Is Gotenks better? Is Gotenks better? Um... Is he? Ah, ah, fine. You're here. You're here. You're here. You're replaced. Uh, given it's only two times replaced by Vados and God Topo. God Key's just so mediocre. I had to put you low, Beerus. I'm sorry. The OF Zenkai. Look where he's gone. Oh man, it, it's tough to see, but it is what it is, right? I'm clapping for the clown. I wish I had a fucking like clown nose around me, but soup. Vegeta! You, my friend. <laughs> You're better than Kaba. So, uh, good shit. Um, <laughs> well, debate. I, you know what? I'm gonna put you next to your uh, sibling uh, bond there, I guess you could call it. Uh, or master disciple bond. There you go, Dokkan reference. He's better than Kaba. That's about it. <laughs> He takes too long. He gets strike damage when he's a blast unit. Mirz Masu got the same thing. He gets uh, strike damage when he's a blast unit. I know. Wait, is it Mirz Masu? Someone that's reason. I think it's Mirz Masu. Gets strike damage when he's a blast unit. Um, the thing is, Mirz Masu is actually good. Uh, Vegeta had an ass kit pre Zenkai. Post Zenkai, his kit is uh, pretty ass still. <laughs> LF Piccolo. I get it. Nine stars. So individually, I need to preface this because people will question me. LF Piccolo is a better unit than DKP. Straight up. But Strike Regen is shitting on Blast Regen. It is not a debate. Strike Regen shits on it. So with that, Piccolo will be S+. Wow, I need to add units to S tier. Holy shit. Regardless, Piccolo is S plus tier. Um, if I were to say anything about Piccolo... He needs better units around him. Him himself could be seen as like a top 15 unit in the game. I wouldn't debate that. I'd be happy saying that. Blast Regen. It has Murzumasu. It has Kid Buu. It's a good three-man setup. They need a better Revival unit. Revival Cell doesn't cut it. And they need a actual green because I'm not going to run this free-to-play Kid Buu. Or I'm not going to run green 21 on my setup. No, I'm not going to run fucking dog shit Revival Gohan on my regen setup. I'm not gonna do any of these things because they're not good enough, right? If regen blast base had a better green or red, it'd be better than strike regen. But for now, strike regen is just way too oppressive, way too aggressive, and way too manipulative with the balls. Califla, okay, you're definitely not getting S tier, but S tier needs to be uh, touched on. Califla, uh, you do more to Saiyans, which I am valuing high because it is number one team in the game. But I'm not valuing it too high, I think. I did lower Frieza for uh, that sake. I would say Caulifla is better than you two, but worse than Cooler. I think LOE is better than Rabbit Universe, and that's her main team, and you're not going to run anywhere else. And she is replaced on um, Saiyans, Rabbit Universe, she's even replaced, so B tier seems fine for her. Blue Broly, one of the first Zenkai's in the game, the second Zenkai in the game, along with Beerus and Red Super Saiyan Goku. Um, you're like a fucking fifth option. Okay. You're going to be C tier here, right? Uh, I think you're worse than these. I don't think that's much of a debate. I think he's actually worse than all of them. Uh, he could even be lower, but I won't put him that fucking down bad. Kamikolo. Kamikolo? He is a blue, actually, for a regen. I forgot he even exists. But again, Kid Buu just shit stomps him, which is obviously a thing. He is very Android 21, though. The injured tunnel, you're not going to run up region anyways. I mean, you could, but just not ideal. Um, Kamikolo is Blast Regen. I'm factoring some things in my head here before I decide. I think he is above these few. 
Um, he wants to be against Future or Android, which Future you're actually seeing a lot of right now. Like, this new Rosé, you're seeing a lot. People are starting out there Corrupted to Monsters, like I, and you're seeing it a lot. Like, he's gonna do like, extra damage, he does go neutral. With those two things, I do think he's better than some of those units. He's uh, above, rather, I was gonna say below. LF Super Saiyan Goku. I mean, this is undisputably a Z-tier unit. Like, I, I can't, you know, as much as I don't like to see him, he is undisputably Z-tier. He is, in my opinion, number two slash number one. The game right now with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, if I'm rating them at equal stars here, of nine stars of LFs. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, what can I say? He has a stupidly broken counter. Fun fact, Purple Super Saiyan Blue First Saiyan First Anniversary Vegeta has the same counter. He goes uh, neutral on main, obviously going neutral matters, and it's important. Obviously, that's why Kamikul even is this high. And he does great damage. He heals amazingly. He has a great core around him. He's E tier. He is number one slash at least number three in the game if you're going to, like, disrespect him, right? Android 18. Uh, oh, I just skipped over Kid Ku there. Uh, Kid Ku. Kid Ku, um, Kid Goku, he was Z-tier on release of his Zenkai, fun fact. Uh, people coped and said Vegeta Blue is better, but no, Kid Goku is better. Kid Goku is aged. <laughs> aged a lot. Think you're down here, buddy. That, what? You're above Broly, I guess. You aged a lot. You've fallen off. Sad sight, but it's the true sight. Android 18. Uh, you're not going to be Z-tier. I'm sorry for people that still think Android 18 is actually a good unit. No, she's not. She's the most one-dimensional unit in the game. Fun fact, when I rate Android 18, I'm basically rating Super Saiyan 3 uh, Purple Goku, just lower, because he is her, but worse. Just saying. But he is on a better team, so might uh, change a little bit. Uh, you are A-tier, right? I might even put B-tier, actually. Hmm. I could see the argument for B-tier. I'll put you A tier. You are worse than everyone else above you. <laughs> yeah. Do more to Saiyans. That's why you're up there. And that's it. You did good strike damage. Amazing strike damage, I could even say. But so many units counting you out. It's not even funny how uh, mediocre you are. Merge Zamasu. We're going to start touching S tier here. Don't worry. I know you guys might have thought I forgot about it. No, I just don't value a lot of these units at S tier. Merge Zamasu, S tier. Um, yes, I understand I have been saying his teams aren't the greatest, but you see Kamik- or not Kamikolo, fucking LF Piccolo up there, they're a core together, right? Merzmasu and LF Piccolo, that's a core regen setup, blast regen, again, it's not the greatest setup in the game, but it is a good one. Uh, Merzmasu is very beefy, I don't know why I'm putting him below Bardock, Bardock is definitely below Merzmasu here. Very beefy. High defense stats, uh, Janemba wishes he could relate, obviously seeing him so down, bad down there, even being strike-based, it's a sad reality for Janemba. Um, he just does a lot, like, Godki, he even makes Godki look good, like Evolution Blue Vegeta, Merz Masu, and Blue Goku, I guess, you could run that, or God Topo, I guess. You have a slow builder, a fast builder, and a very slow builder on that setup, with Evolution Blue being this, you know, medium to slow. Uh, Gotoba being the fast, and then Merge Monster being the tank, and, you know, kind of slow build, because he needs to be hit four times to get the 80%, and timer counts need to elapse for him to get peak damage, but he can fucking, like, I've had him two card, two blasts, not, you know, a fucking blast into an ult, or like a blue into an ult or something, no, two blasts, two carded, LF Super Saiyan Goku at 13 stars, he wasn't even fully built, like, he had like 60%, and it was like 30 timer counts gone, he two carded, he is very high. Honestly, I could debate S+, but I'm not going to go that far. He has not been out that long. But after using him a fucking lot, because I use these units a lot, I play a lot. Right now, I'm like rank fucking 80 in the world. Um, He's a very good fucking unit. And uh, I'm sad to say I underestimate him on release. I thought he would be uh, a lot worse. I didn't think he'd be worse than Janemba, but I thought he'd be about Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta level, I guess. But he's proven to me he is not. He's a lot better than that. Transforming Gogeta, you know, fun fact, I actually am going to uh, underrate this guy a little bit. <sighs> he takes too long. Now, I just said someone builds up, and that's good, but he takes too long with no defenses to build up. Same to, I guess, Super Vegeta, kind of. Takes too long. They just take too long to do their peak. Transforming Gogeta will be about... 
You know what? I want to change this real quick. I'm not putting him there, but I want to put that right there. That makes more sense to me. Um, I think transforming Gogeta is right here. In the realm of God Vegeta, transforming Gogeta himself, and then Super Gogeta. He takes long, but once he does, he can do well. Uh, not the main unit for your movies. I guess he's your main for fusions, which again is like a low tier team. It's, you know, you can win with any team in the game. You know, I've actually seen people saying like, this guy called him a fucking tier three team. Like I called somebody a tier three team or some team a tier three team. And they were like offended because I said, it. I was like, like, huh? It's a tier three team because the units on it are shit. You can win with fucking minion squad in the top 100. People suck, but the team itself is not as good. Like the easier teams our teams are going to win with easier and easier and easier. And if you're up against them, you're going to lose against them most likely. And if you don't, that just means you're a good player. That just, that doesn't mean the team's fucking good. That means you're a good player with the team. But yeah, transforming Gogeta, he takes long. If he does get going, he can look great, but that's far and few between a lot of circumstances where you're actually going to see it, right? Fat Boo, don't think he's S+. Plus. Uh, fun fact, I do think he is number one of S tier. I'm not going to like say he's not. Don't think he's S+. Plus. Um, I'm not going to say he's aged. Uh, I do think he is the best aging Zen kind of game, you know, if I'm going to say anything about age. But, if hear me out, he, himself, pretty mediocre. Sure, that lock-in. Sure, the ceiling strike. That's great. Uh, team heal, team support on main. That, that's great. That's all fucking phenomenal. He, himself, any output-wise or any input-taking-hit-wise, gets clobbered like a monstrosity. I have built my Fat Boo so defensively, so optimally defensively with pure equips, all the Z abilities, all HP even, gets clobbered. While I do think he's the best aging Zenkai in the game, I do not think he is Mr. Number One Goated, and I do think Piccolo, DKP, Goten, and Super Saiyan Goku are all better than him. Just my take. You don't have to agree. He's a tier list. But he is still high S tier, so you guys should not be upset about that, <laughs> right? Because I am saying Strike Regen is very highly rated. They're all up there. Like, they're all up there. You see them there. Red Broly. Hmm. I actually do think he's okay. Oh, he's worse than Gogeta. Well, you know, you know, I want to say he's worse than Gogeta, but I don't know. I haven't used him recently. I probably should. I actually might do a video on him tomorrow. This red DBS Broly, because I do like his idea. Like, he's giving you cut on switch out, right? Like that's a really unique thing. And he helps your units a lot. You can't faint, quick blue card animation. Strike has blast armor, I think. It's not a strike, I think it's only his ultimate. Yeah, I think only his ultimate does actually. But it still has blast armor, right? And you can't faint on it. I think he is about, <sighs> B tier seems so disrespectful, but I think he, I think he's right here. Just below Gotenks, just because Hyrus is better than movies. Uh, I need to test him more to really rate him, but I do think B tier is suitable for him. FSK. Okay, so, all right. Oh, here comes the, uh, well, you know, YouTube turned off dislikes. And fun fact, that is YouTube, by the way. I know people might be questioning me, like, why is there no dislikes? Like, I can't see the dislike thing. Like, I could see it. Um, you guys can't see it for some reason. YouTube turned off dislikes, and I guess it's for this, because I'm not gonna rate FSK high. FSK at nine stars, I think is, <sighs> cover your eyes because you don't want to see this, um, worse than Fat Boo and S tier. Look, just hear me out. FSK is super, 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 super reliant on others. Hybrids, well, I keep saying it, I say this whole video, not even in preparation of this, just because I think it's fact. Well, my opinion. My opinion, I guess, not fact. Jesus Christ, I can't say it's fact. My opinion, Regen is holding a candle to, if not better than hybrids, this is where I see it. Um, FSK needs a lot. Yes, he can 1v3 you, he can do god work, he can do everything. So can Super Saiyan Goku, so can LF Piccolo. The thing is, they're both in different tiers, right? They can both 1v3 you pretty easily, right? Merzamasu can 1v3 you. Uh, even looking down more, Red Gogeta has the capability to 1v3. So that thought process of 1v3, he's goaded, Z tier. I don't follow because a lot of units below him can do the same thing. It's just the circumstance and that's player dependent, right? Yes, he has an easier time doing it. Let me pop my main 
with fucking one of the most used units in the game, Kid Buu. Let me pop a green card and land it on you with one of the most used units in the game, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Let me pop UI Goku's main when FSK is last man standing, because that's the only situation people actually talk about him. And he has no buffs. And he can make UI Goku look like a defense type because of UI Goku popped his main. There's a lot of counters to FSK. I do think he's great, but I don't think he is as good as people rate him just because he's fallen. Just a bit. Not a crazy amount, but he's done being number one in the game. Uh, for sure. Like, I don't even think that's debatable for a lot of people. Purple Super Saver Goku. <sighs> now, putting any unit above FSK at this point is going to seem like cancer, but some things might happen, right? Uh, Purple Super Saver Goku is... He's not above FSK. He's not. He's not. He can't 1v3. He can't do that. He can't do that situation. But he is high up here. Uh, Saiyans, of course, he is an off option, but he is your main off option, right? No special cover change. Uh, Nullify Endurance. Like, that's good for a lot of 8 Vegetas you're running into. Uh, Puddle Gohans you're running into. You know, all these other units. He's a solid option given he is an alternate, like, not your core. He is a solid option, right? Android 16. Fucking trash can. Uh... You know, I want to rate him D tier, honestly. He just doesn't do anything. I'm going to put him D tier just to be funny. I don't really care about him. You guys probably don't care about him either. He's your place. No one gives a shit about him. He's ass. Uh, he was the Vegeta Blue counter. Where he at? He's dead. Vegeta Blue still being run by people with high star Vegeta Blues, right? He didn't really do jack shit, even on release. Uh, he tanked. Great. Every unit could tank at this point. Like, <laughs> Purple Broly. <laughs> Better than Turtles. Better than Turtles. No debate there. Better than Android 18, I don't think. I think he is worse than Green. I, I really value Green Broly stalling. I really value it. Even with this guy in Super Saiyans, he takes a while to get his like damage going. You know, he can go neutral four times. He can, which is a thing. Two in pre, two in post transform. Just takes his damage way too long. That's it. I, I don't like these timer count units when they're on Super Saiyans, because obviously the Super Saiyan buffs only affect or last. Uh, the effect of it for 15 counts. So if my unit takes 10 counts to get his fucking peak damage, what the hell am I running Super Saiyan buffs for, right? I'm just wasting it because it's only 5 counts of his peak. It's like, what what happened? Like, Red Gogeta can get that shit in 2 cards because more cards, more damage. More card, more damage. Boom, 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 boom. These other units, Super Vegeta, Kaba, um, DBS Broly, Transforming Gogeta, they take too long. That's why, uh, I mean, Blue Gohan maybe, sure, but Red Gogeta is so high up. He just... Boom, instantly. That fucking hurt. But boom, instantly can do shit. Super Saiyan Goku. I did say he's going to be near Android 18 because he's a worse Android 18. But Saiyans is better. He is a sub-option to Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So... He's actually going to be a lot higher than Android 18. Thinking about this now. Okay, why do we... I put him right... Oh, shit! Didn't mean to do that. Um, Right here. He's an alternate option. On Saiyans, that's it. Nothing else. Android 18, Androids is down bad. That's what that means. That's all that means. Name it Goku. Now, before the pitchforks again, because FSK pitchforks were not enough. I mean, there's probably Goten pitchforks, right? Because Goten being S plus above Piccolo and fucking FSK. Like, people are going to mauled over that. But I explained that, I think, pretty well. Name it Goku. I am considering the Name it Goku players I go against. Most Name it Goku players I go against suck. They just suck. They don't use him correctly. You don't have to play him like a passive little scaredy cat when you use him. You play him like a real unit and you try to outplay your opponent and not just, hey, I'm going to backfloat like a dumbass. No, you play him like a normal unit and then catch them randomly off guard, right? That's how you play Name it Goku typically if you want to use him correctly. I don't run into that. So this off my experience of Name Goku, obviously this whole list is my experience, but you know, some things are just more obvious than others. Name it Goku, in the normal hands of a normal player, in my experience, is just about here. He's good, he's fine, but he's nothing great. That's it. No take, no more takes, that's it. LF Frieza Zenkai, the last one. Hmm. I forgot how can Goku even got his Zenkai. Wow. Um, LF Frieza, huh? Frieza Force is a very good team. Uh, people don't use it. There is literally no other Frieza Force unit here. 
like, that I could even compare him to. <laughs> okay. Um, Ella Frieza. Better than Bardock. He is S. Yeah, he is S. Uh, he's better than Bardock. I think Frieza Force is... <sighs> he's better than Words of Masu. Frieza Force is better than uh, Blast Regen or Blast Future or Blast God Key. Yeah, Frieza Force is just better. Uh, he does everything, right? Uh, cancels buff effects. What else? Um, does he not? Um, no, I suppose cover change on main, I think. Uh, green card's crazy. It can combo into his green off his uh, cover change. Blue card draws another card. Quick animation. He holds a blue card. Obviously, is incredible value for Frieza Force. Very good fucking Zenkai. Uh, heals a lot. Tanks well. Does more to Saiyans on his ult. His ult can nuke. Like, it's a very good fucking unit. Uh, on top of being a support type, he does everything, right? Kamikolo. L uh, I was gonna say LF. All right, Legends Road, Kamikolo. Um, really have two Piccolos from the same exact fight, just like two scenes different, huh? It's crazy. Regen, Blast Regen. He's worse than you probably am. Yeah. He's okay. He's just not your great option. Uh, he's an okay option. He's just not great. Blue Goku. Um, where is Blue Goku at? He's better than Gavajita. For sure. I think Blue Goku is... High A? Put him here. Ah, nah, nah, nah. Even on Saiyans, you can still run Red Gogeta, even though I fucking hate it. You can still, and God Key again is just down bad. It just sucks for Blue Goku, for God Vegeta, for these other uh, God Key units. It's just a down bad team. Even though he is good, he is great, he can 1v3, it's a down bad team and it sucks. Uh, even putting above Purple Super Saiyan 3 is being nice. Kaioken Goku. Um, ooh, you're gonna be low, ah, buddy. Okay, I do not like you, you are not. Oh, he's the one who gets blast damage. Yeah, he gets blast damage, I think. Yeah, that's great. He's a strike-based unit, by the way, with, like, negative blast stats, comparably, but okay. Um... <laughs> I want to put you low, man. I want to put you B-tier, honestly. <sighs> He's on Saiyan. He's on Saiyan Saga. He's not even fucking main unit on Saiyan Saga, in my opinion, at least, after using Nappa and Kaioken Goku. Put him here. Just put him there. It. Not gonna say anything else. Yellow Goku Black. Probably the worst Zenkai in the game. That's it. Spear Palm Goku. He's okay. Um, nothing great, definitely, but he's okay. Uh, if I were to put him somewhere, I'd put him like right there. Uh, he's okay, right? He's a fucking free, full free Zenkai. Like you only have to touch the game, get him Zenkai. And then Purple Gohan is. I think Gotenks is better. I think Gotenks is better. Purple Gohan is probably like here. I, I put him above. I, I put him above you just because Hybrids is a better team. Yeah. Let me go over this here before I just start my uh, ending thoughts. So Z tier only Super Saiyan Goku. I agree with that. S plus Goten. Yeah. It's so debatable. It's so debatable. Hey, people are gonna like either respect it fully or just hate it. Fight the key is number one S plus. DHP then Piccolo. S tier Fat Boo above FSK, I agree. Name it Goku. From what I've seen, yes. Frieza could be above, I think Frieza could be above Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Murzumasu, Bardock, yes. A tier, seems all right to me. Yeah. This is my Zenkai tier list. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it. This is before Black Friday. This is literally the day, I mean, the evening, afternoon, before we get our next Zenkai announcement, which it might be LF Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And if he's going to Zenkai, motherfucker's going to be um, at minimum S tier. So let me know what you guys think of my Zenkai tier list. And I'll see you guys in the next one.